So here is a flowering Lophophora uh, coerci, co coerci, coerci. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Originally, I thought this was a Frisii, but it's a coerci. This one was degrafted a few months back. Just now that the root started, but it's flowering, and there's another flower bud that's developing. This is the degraft experiment that I did with the salt treatment. It's a bit more rooted now. Not much, but it's a bit more better rooted. And this is actually a clone of the same Lophophora. This was uh, harvested a while back, or cut a while back, but it's the same exact so I'm just sharing that this one is flowering and I decided to share a I wouldn't call it a trip report but a consumption result of the effects so if we a few months back I decided to harvest the outer skin of this Lophophora and on the first attempt I tried six grams of the dark outer flesh the first 30 minutes or so I had a strong strong nausea and then within an hour of the consumption I felt similar to having a fever but I checked my temperature and it was normal so I assumed that maybe I had a blood pressure drop or something because my feet and my hands were very very cold so I think there was some vascular constriction due to the effects the this Lophophora it its main active is petaline and it's not mescaline like with peyote and after that I had some coffee and some cake to try to reduce the nausea and within an hour and a half of the consumption I noticed that I was talking much louder than I normally would and I had a hard time gauging how loud I should be speaking so there was some audio there was some audio auditory there yeah there were some auditory differences with the consumption within two hours and a half I noticed an increase in my perception of taste and smell and I was constantly swallowing it wasn't like dry mouth it was like I had some phlegmus or mucus in my throat and I was always trying to clear it and within four hours and a half I felt it was similar to a couch lock but it wasn't as intense it was like I I was seated or stuck to the couch but rather than I was unable to move, it was more of a lack of desire to move. Like I didn't want to put any effort into actually doing anything. Within four hours and 45 minutes, I had a strong feeling of an ear pressure, similar, like, similar to when we take a flight or when you go up a really high elevator, there's that pressure in the ear and I also felt a vibration in my feet and hands it wasn't very strong but the vibration seemed to be my heartbeat or my pulse so maybe just an increased perception of my heartbeat similar to how some people get uh, anxiety or paranoid with cannabis and sometimes they feel that they, they can hear their heartbeat was similar to that 
within five hours after consuming the pressure was completely gone from my ears i still felt kind of drunk without drunkenness just a mental mental shift i guess the effects were very strong and within five hours and a half i was completely baseline so the reason i wanted to even try this i knew that there wasn't exactly a hallucinogenic effect but i was reading about the very very early pioneers of the Fofra. i think it was in the late 1800s almost 1900 and some explorers they were experimenting with this cactus and they noticed that it actually had a antidepressant effect there was a woman that they studied in a clinic that had severe depression and they administered this to her and after two weeks it seems to have had antidepressant uh, effects on her so that's the main reason why I wanted to try this I'm not suggesting anyone do this and I'm just sharing my experience so after this uh, dose of 0.6 grams I waited maybe one or two months later and I attempted one gram of the outer green flesh this time the effects were quite different within 45 minutes I had very very strong nausea and I considered myself to have an iron stomach I went to the bathroom because I felt I was going to vomit but I ended up having the runs within an hour I felt like I had a, like a fever just broke I felt very warm and I was sweating within two hours I had the runs again I did not have any of the interesting effects like the vibration or an increase in auditory perception and anything I just had the runs and some nausea and at the four hour mark after the consumption of one gram dried I was completely baseline and I decided not to pursue this again at a higher dose since these effects were very very negative I just had the runs and I wouldn't even use this if I was constipated so in the future I may attempt this uh, this again not with the higher dose but at the 0.6 gram dosage this is still considered a micro dose however I actually be scared of attempting higher doses of this uh, of this cactus in the future I hope to actually experiment a few different plants and a few combinations uh, my collection is still growing so it's hard so it's hard to keep for me to attempt it more frequently and there's actually a few different reports on uh, ayahuasca additives that were stopped in the past like Opuntia and Queen of the Night that I have no idea how to pronounce it I'll put the, the name in the video it's the Queen of Cactus it's a really skinny uh, cactus and it's semi-tropical it has a large flower I don't know how to pronounce it at all but it has a lot of uh, cultivars but they also use that in older ayahuasca additives some say it's because it has citric acid so it helps with the extraction but I read a very obscure report that it could actually cause three days of blindness but they weren't sure if it was from the cactus or other unidentified additives so it's kind of dangerous I'm not in a rush to try this but I do have interest in combining uh, cappy with 
other cacti sim like the astrophytum i hope to try that in the future as well despite it being negative on being active so i hope you enjoyed my trip report and the flowering lefafra and in the future i hope to share some other trip reports of my personal experience with different cacti and different plants if you like my content or have any suggestions please leave them and leaving a a like and subscribing really helps out to motivate me to keep sharing and making my videos thanks for watching